Hi, this is Professor Culhain from the Patel College of Global Sustainability, and we are seeing some success in the use of tenebrio beetle larvae to digest polystyrene or styrofoam. And I'll show you what we got going. Uh, Sarah Long, one of our students from PCGS, followed up on the work that I was trying up at Rosebud Continuum Sustainability Education Center. Uh, I was using tenebrio or darkling beetles, otherwise known as mealworms, that I was got at Petco for uh, for feeding fish and feeding uh, feeding lizards and stuff. And they're the small darkling beetles, the small mealworms, and they didn't do much. Um, but Sarah did some additional research and showed that there's a larger species, a giant species of tenebrio beetles. I think they're tenebrio, and they do more. And what you can see is. Here was a piece of styrofoam, a block of styrofoam that in a couple of days they've turned into almost nothing. And there's no metabolites uh, here, so no residuals, a bit of apple core to keep them. Put apple core in because, uh, or apple pieces to give them moisture. And, in, and they're in a bed of oatmeal. But they're not, um, even though they live in food, they actually like to eat the... Uh, they like to eat the sty polystyrene, and you can see in here, they've actually tunneled a hole. Oh, and isn't that interesting? Not only have they tunneled a hole, they're actually living in there. Look at that. So they've um, made their way in. That definitely shows a preference that even though they're living in food with the apple and the oatmeal, they're uh, tunneling their way through the various types of polystyrene in there. So there's one of them right there having his way with it. And then he's tunneling his way under, but uh, minute, don't run away, fella. This is the one we're talking about. This is a much larger uh, beetle larvae than the ones that you generally see people eating at, and um, in science museums. I've eaten them too. wouldn't mind eating these, but I like the fact that it's eating the styrofoam. So He's, he was kind of happy in there. That didn't mean to disturb him. I was gonna, they don't like the light. They really don't. Sarah also saw that they were eating egg carton, but mine have not done much of that. And they really haven't done too much with this type of uh, cafeteria plate styrofoam, except at the edges. You can see that they have nibbled at the edges of that, but they definitely made short order of that. There is some evidence of eating here, so they are taking care of some of this packing styrofoam. There's a piece they gouged out there. They're very slow at doing it, but the fact that they were living in here was interesting. So we're definitely seeing some preferences here. And um, I put the pomegranates in to try to give them again some moisture. They don't seem to be eating the pomegranates. They do nibble at the apple core, which is good. And they don't like light. So. There is that. I'll take out these. And um, I'm glad that you got a chance to see the, the one that was the one that was in. He really doesn't like the light. Come back, go back in. No, no, no. Go back in here, buddy. Go back in. He's not happy. I'm freaking him out. Alright, I don't want to freak him out too much. He'll find his way back. So that's it. This is uh this is using tenebrio beetles. Come on, little fella. I really would like you to go to the styrofoam. I don't want to freak him so badly out. There you go. Well, here, that makes it safer. There you go. Anyway, he's definitely eating styrofoam. And that is the point of the exercise. And if I get more, I assume I can get more styrofoam eaten. All right, so I'll put them back. They do hate the light. I'll put them back in the drawer. And Sarah put some really cool superworm. Oh, they're not tenebrio. They are zophobes, zophobas, zophobas, zophobas morio. And there's the instructions for those of you who want to do it. Uh, she suggests a substrate one to four inches thick of wheat bread and oat mix. Wheat germ and peat moss also work. Check for mold weekly. Wipe condensation daily. The temperature should be uh, 75 to 82 Fahrenheit. Low to no lighting. Superworms are photonegative. 
Water source, one large carrot or one small apple cut up, feed several hundred worms per three days. Remove if moldy or mushy. Superworms will not pupate until individually separated. Okay, so those are the instructions for you. And I think I had one that pupated in here. I wonder if I can find him again. I don't even know how no I think I had only three to begin with. There's there's the there's two there. Three. There's three there. They're doing their thing. So I got at least three. But there was a earlier I saw a pupa that may have gotten buried or maybe it got cannibalized. Hard to know. Okay, maybe it got buried. Anyway, they're obviously alive and they're doing their job eating the styrofoam. There you go, buddy. There. Enjoy. Okay. And we'll just check back with you and let you know how things are working with our polystyrene eating critters. <clears throat> Let me just put this back. So I keep mine in this drawer so that they, being photonegative, don't have to worry about the light. All right, so that's uh, our experiment with that. And then meanwhile, we're doing some cool 3D printing here. Uh, this is going to be a chick feeder for putting a water bottle. And that print could also help with the insect raising for moisture. What I'm printing is this, which was from from Thingiverse and I'm trying to see if I can find the it's this here this chick feeder this is what we're printing now in the 3D printer so you can use recycled water bottles and use them for things. And so I was able to get this model and this model here with those holes can fit a water bottle up here so I'm printing it there. Alrighty. Hope you will join us in the Waste Not Want Not movement and look for other ways to either uh, grade plastic waste so that it's not a threat to our environments or to recycle, upcycle, downcycle, reuse, and of course in the end we need to refuse plastics if they are causing harm, but we can find ways to make use of them so that they're not. Okay, bye.